in defiance of the public transport orders limiting the PSV capacity, Matatu operators are back to normal. Matatu crews are blatantly defying social distancing, hand washing or even hand sanitizing rules and carrying full capacity in disregard of the danger it is posing to the passengers. Take a look. The return of the usual traffic snarl up along Helsalasi Avenue is what led us to this Matatu belonging to Ngumo Line Sako. Inside this Matatu, the rule requiring 60% occupancy is no longer adhered to. Passengers are seated so close to each other in total disregard of the social distancing rule. The presence of police officers on the road seems not to bother the Matatu crew as they maneuver past the officers without breaking a sweat. Passengers, too, seem to have thrown caution to the wind, touching surfaces that could pose danger to them. Matatu crews, just like passengers, do not put on masks, and for those who have, it's never properly used. <laughs> A similar trend exhibited along major routes in Nairobi despite the directive by the Transport Ministry that those flouting the directives will have their licenses suspended and vehicles impounded. This directive applies to all public transport vehicles. The offenders will also be charged in a court of law in line with the Public Health Act for deliberately spreading the, the virus. With most Kenyans using public transport, the Matatu sector remains a key cog in flattening the COVID-19 curve. However, as things stand, the sector has slowly inched back to their normal ways, putting thousands of commuters and the country at risk.